Hey there, it is Dee and we are talking about doors and how they leak. Let's get, so around the one side of this door, been leaking in, has hit the sill plate there, subfloor underneath. So a lot of times, also threshold, you'll end up having rot in the corners. And then a lot of times you'll end up finding gaps or poor um, caulking around the outside where it's just coming in. So pretty common on a lot of these homes. This is like a, I think it's a 2021. Um, it has that issue. Um, pretty much everything else is clean on this. And this... Something's either happening behind and going underneath, or it's the dishwasher, or a lot of times what you're going to have is connection points to the plumbing below your base of your cabinet, and sometimes you'll have leaks there. And so all in here is way, way soft, will need to be cut out and repaired. And then most of the stuff that we have in this home is just a lot of cosmetic stuff. Just a matter of cleaning up. Um, there's a smoke smell. So we kills the floors after we took up carpet and pad. Um, matter of just cleaning up, vacuuming out the furnace. It does have a coil, so thankfully it's got AC. Kills floors. We'll just paint wall or doors. A lot of times other places where you're gonna find, obviously water is handy connection points that you have to water around toilets, either it's due to the seal improper, the valve leaking, or the tank connection point leaking, or the toilet's cracked, so that's pretty common. Sometimes these tubs will get kicked in, and that will actually affect the structure and integrity. We've torn them out for that reason. The other thing is a lot of times if they get too old being fiberglass, they'll start uh, leaking. A lot of cases, the more vulnerable spots are where most people stand most of the time and around drains. A lot of times these systems are not braced correctly underneath. And so it just flexes and flexes and flexes. And as it gets old and dirty and all those things, um, you start having issues. Another thing too, water damage can occur because it's not caulked and sealed correctly around. This can be leaking, that can be leaking. And this can be leaking as well. You could also have a surround that was not installed correctly and doors cracked. A lot of times that'll happen too. Um, sometimes you'll end up having water coming in through, if it's vented correctly, it should have its own flue through the roof, its own vent through the roof. So if that's not vented correctly, a lot of times if you start seeing water in your domes of your lights, that's indicating water damage as well. If you're gonna find water damage, typically you'll end up seeing it happening in the window. Well, staining, discoloration, subfloor. Back here, this has been getting wet and we're thinking it's um, possibly from the caulking not being intact there, but we're also gonna cut this panel out and create an access panel and just check and make sure the plumbing is installed correctly and it's not leaking. So any place where you have ducting or venting out of the house is gonna be potential water damage as well. Doors, like I said, back door could be doing the same thing. This one is good. You also have this connection point here with um, for the washer and dryer. The washer, a lot of times those valves will leak. Sometimes I've even found that this isn't connected all the way through uh, in the wall. So that's another thing that's nice to check the access panel. And then a lot of people will have washers that they, they never move and never check. And you'll just have subfloor uh, issues under there. The other thing is, is that pretty much we have a little bit of a lip of a soffit. That one has a lot more. Um, some of these homes 
are designed where they're just flush and so the water just comes streaming down the side of the house so gutters would be advised in that situation to help direct water away from the home in a lot of cases that's another source that can bring a bunch of water in so some pointers on how to get water in your manufactured home where to look <laughs> uh, so you can make sure that it's watertight and evaluate it correctly and have the right budget make it a great day